So common, people hold themselves back because they're concerned or worried what other people are gonna say if they put their message out there. And in today's video, we're gonna address exactly how you can get past it and the keys to blast forward through this resistance and how to get your message out there in every situation. So stay tuned. It's such a common issue. You know, you want to be liked, you want to put your right message out there, and you want it to be received well. But at the same time, this feeling, this belief can absolutely be holding you back. Like, how many times have you held yourself back from putting your message out there because you weren't sure if your audience was going to connect with it, if it was going to get people on your side or push people away? And this is really holding you back and cost you opportunities. Look, I know exactly how you feel. I used to be the same way until I realized a few key points. And it all came from sending an email out. So I want to give you a recent example. It happened last week where I sent an email out to my list on how to get instant confidence without saying a word. And now this email was regarding nonverbal communication, so how you can have your foot positioning and the best way to get absolutely critical foot positioning to instill confidence for yourself and so that your audience reacts to it. So I put my message out there and it was great. I, I blasted out, I was at a conference and I look at my phone and five minutes later I get a response and I'm thinking, great, I'm already getting engagement. This is amazing. So I open it up and I wrote it down. This is what happened. So we got Danny from London. He responds to me, Lucas, this is the worst tip I have ever read in my life. So for getting instant confidence, you want me to jump up and down and watch my foot positioning? This is absurd. Why don't you go get some real skills and tips that will work in the real world? Okay, so <laughs> clearly it struck a chord with them. And at first I looked at it and I said, wow, what a strong reaction. But at the same time, I started laughing thinking, how bad is your day going if this has got you completely on tilt? You know, and I felt bad for the guy. Point two was that if this is the worst tip he's ever gotten in his life, well, I can only imagine that he's led a very safe life because no one's told him to go jump off a cliff or that if you're good to your employer, your employer will be loyal back to you or that there's some great opportunities to invest in waterfront real estate in Florida. I mean, give me a break. The worst tip you have ever read in your life? I can't even take that seriously. But then it gets interesting because 10 minutes later, I get another email from Nancy in Vancouver and she says, uh, Lucas, great tip. I really look at the foot positioning in a completely different way. I never thought foot positioning was that important, but now that I'm watching how I stand, I feel so much more confident. So thank you for this tip and I look forward to more. So I'm sitting there thinking, okay, the same message, two completely different results. One saying it's the worst tip ever and the other one saying thank you, I never thought about this and this is beneficial. So the takeaway for this is that you will not please everyone. This is my fan base, this is my email list and just putting out my own messages, I'm getting two completely different results. So what it comes down to, and this was, I was processing it after, was thinking that how many times do you hold yourself back because you're not sure how people are going to react? You haven't even put the message out there and already you're thinking, if I put this out there, they might think this or they might think that. It's absurd and don't do it anymore. Look, when you put your message out there, some people are going to love it. Some people are going to say it's the worst tip you've ever heard. It's just terrible. At the end of the day, you can only do business with those who want to do business with you. So the Dannys of the world, I'm sorry, but this tip wasn't of value for you. Let it pass. But for the Nancys who resonate with it and are seeing value, keep it going. So the key is you got to connect with the people that are in line with you and just keep blasting that message. So put yourself out there at every situation and let your message shine through.